and here it comes. Oh god, get out of the way. Well, hello there everybody, Dre here, and welcome back to Teardown. Today, I thought we'd start off by checking out just a few vehicles, and by a few, I mean quite possibly every vehicle that's been uploaded into this game so far. So this is called Every Vehicle Map. Fitting name, if you ask me. It's made by Doll Ray, and basically it's a vehicle playground showcasing all the vehicles that the creative community has made. What I really like about this map is, as you can see, each vehicle also has its own red text that explains who's actually made it. Which is obviously great to, uh, give credit where credit is due, but, um, yeah, we're just gonna go down the line here and see what the community's been doing, and just pick ones that look really cool to me, this thing. Oh yeah, we're definitely picking this one, at least for the time being. Oh, now I want this one. This is the problem, when you have this much of a selection, it gets a kind of crazy. Um, okay, there's a lot of Tree Burgers ones. We got little ones. This is fantastic, it's an RC version. Uh, of course, we got the human vehicle. I don't know if we have the standing one in here yet, but that one's here. A bunch of rally cars, I haven't actually seen these. Oh wow, they actually burn out too, this is really cool. We got the Warthog, the bikes. Is that a Bullet Bill? Who the hell made a Bullet Bill and how did I miss it? I could still do a whole episode just showcasing the things on this map. Bumblebee vehicles, that's adorable. And we have, what is that? A duck vehicle as well. Oh my god, there's just too much. What the hell is this man? Vehicle sofa car. Can it shoot? I mean, he's got a gun. I can't seem to shoot it, though. Also, did you really have to add the, the nipples? It's just kind of weird. All right, continuing down the line, though, obviously I'm not going to be able to showcase all of these, but it's just nice to see the amount of stuff that's been going on that I've missed. We've got a trailer on this one. That's actually really, really cool. A crane. Oh, wow, you can actually turn on hydraulics, extend the legs. Oh, this is actually a crane. Open the door. Oh god. Oh no no stop that noise. That's annoying. Oh my god, it's got a little cockpit though. You actually gotta sit in here. Okay, it's extending the beam. I guess it's just supposed to sound like this. So for whatever reason, the up isn't working though. Maybe it's reversed for some reason? No. God, these noises are annoying. And I can't turn it left or right because it's not high enough yet. So that's unfortunate. Okay, shut up. Shut SHUT UP! Oh god, oh what are I tried to kill it. Now it just truly won't shut up. Oh, interesting. So it it works when I'm in the cockpit, but it goes to the left only. Well, regardless, I just want to pick up a car anyways. Oh god, get me out of here. Okay, so you gotta actually open the doors, but the doors don't seem to work. Oh god! Oh no, 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 no! I just tried to- I just tried to break the window! Okay, I- I just- I just give up at this point. All right, but moving on we have an ice cream truck with interior. Oh This is just this is just great. What what is this? Oh, it's at it's actually smokestacks Okay, <laughs> surprisingly I haven't seen a ramp vehicle yet I mean we don't have a ramp vehicle, but we have a bicycle with a front storage thing on it I mean this is this is fantastic man. We got more tanks. Oh, <gasps> you can open it. This is so cool. And then we can control it from the front. Can it shoot? Oh, it can shoot. I mean, if you need to go off-roading, this will do it. That's for damn sure. Can we open up this back? Unfortunately, I don't think this one's got interior yet. Well, I recognize that shape from a mile away. We have a Sherman as well. Again, I'm missing all these, these tanks. Oh, there we go. I finally f found a hatch I can actually open. All right, let me get inside and see if there's actually... Uh, yeah, there is a gunner station here and everything. Um, doesn't look like you can look out yet. What the hell? These are getting weirder and weirder. What the hell is this? What is it even called? Tall sports car. I mean, fitting name, I guess. Of course, there's a steamroller, so I have to try and steam steamroll this mini because, I mean, it's the law. Oh my god, that worked way too well. Alright, full power ahead. I'm gonna try and get some of the smaller vehicles, but this thing... <laughs> this thing has a lot of torque behind it. Alright, I have to keep going though, or I'm gonna spend the whole episode just checking out vehicles. Not that that's a bad thing, but there's more I want to do today, but yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I can't even see the end yet. Oh man. A harvester, we got... <gasps> oh, do you guys know what this is? 
Crot came here and made a besiege vehicle. Okay, so this is a besiege creator that I've downloaded a lot of his stuff. Obviously, he made a vehicle, a besiege vehicle, in Teardown. Oh, this is, this is, this is just nice. Of course, it wouldn't be modding unless there was a free candy van, so that's fitting. And then we got a, lo a lot of generic vehicles here. Don't get me wrong, really amazing, but I got, I gotta continue going here. I've seen this fire truck before. You can actually extend that, that ladder. And then you can make it go forward. Oh my god, this is actually really, really cool. Um, I have this one downloaded, so we'll probably pl play with this later. Oh, the Mighty Mouse is here! And it looks like it's w within scale as well. Alright, I don't know what the inside of a mouse looks like, but does it have two two layers? Because that's hilarious. Now, can we actually drive it? So yeah, it doesn't look like you can shoot it, but... I mean, it's a mouse. It's absolutely mammoth. We have a block on wheels. Literally fantastic. What is this thing? Cyber Limus. Oh, the wheels are hidden. You tried to sneak them away. I, I got really shocked for a second there that it was floating. All right, so now we're nearing the end, I think, because I can see recent vehicles over there, but we got the GTA Rammer. All right, going for the little ones. Here we go. Get the hell out of my way. Oh, my God. All right, let's get to the end of this list, though. I'm having way too much fun. Um, so yeah, we got this thing. I've seen this. It's the snake car. Why? Because why the hell not, right? <laughs> of course, we gotta have the, uh, the paddy wagon. We have the Batmobile tumbler. Oh my god, it looks so good. All right, and here we are at the end of the line. So we got, um, some sort of futuristic-looking taxi here. Well, I don't know what the, what's going on with the front. Then we have a qu a double-decker van. That's, that's more than double, man. Oh my god, can you get in here? So we have our sofa room. What's up next? I have no idea what this is, but it's another sofa room with a balcony. This is so stupid, I love it. Oh, it's even got a cactus in it. Is that a diving board? Stop! There's a diving board? Of course I gotta try it. There we go. I wish there was actual water in here. That would be fantastic. All right, but yeah, at the top, here we are. We got our computer out front, or TV, or whatever the hell this is. You can also go to the roof if you need the extra layer. What the hell is this? And then I think this is... Yeah, this is the tank I showcased in the last episode. It was the last one uploaded, um, which is still easily one of the most coolest vehicles because... Well, it's a tank, man, and I just destroyed the Daytona ring. But yeah, this is actually a racetrack over here, too. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be like a vehicle playground, I'm assuming, once everything gets set up. Really? I haven't actually got a vehicle going too fast, so I want to see how this game reacts with that. Oh man, this one. This is a good choice. This thing is so freaking fast, I'm like blurring behind me, as you can see. But yeah, nice little banked arena here. Oh, and I just crashed it on the first turn. Okay, I'm absolutely awful. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a bunch of vehicles. I didn't expect there to be so many. But with a ma with a map called Every Vehicle Map, I'm not surprised. All right, I'm sure you've seen the shotgun by now. It does a great job at putting holes through brick. But when that's not enough, you got the heavy shotgun. Oh, man. So yes, a beautiful man by the name of Mike Cresta has developed multiple weapons here that are really, really exciting. Uh, and this is the first one I would say this is the least exciting version. Well, I guess you're gonna see the rest of these, but hey, we'll worry about that later. You can actually customize this, so that was the stock amount. Let's keep the spread rather low, but we're gonna do 50 shells. Oh my god. It's just, it's all the way. Oh, it hit here and it went right through. So yeah, if you want to blow a hole through a whole building, now you have that option. That works too well. <laughs> Use this for heisting. It would be so easy. All right, let's see how hard it is to knock down the tower with this shotgun. I think we're going to be able to knock this thing down in seconds. I gotta say, considering how crazy this weapon is, I'm not lagging too bad just yet. There it goes. That was like four shots and it's gone. <laughs> oh, two shots to take down that too. <laughs> this is so fun to use. I don't know what it is with me and shotguns, but they are so damn fun. You know what? Let's actually up the spread and just see what kind of damage we can do just shooting it down here. Oh my God, that is ridiculous spread. That's too much, but yeah. 
I mean, you can go crazy with this thing if you want to. And moving on, we have a guided missile. So yeah, basically, I just control wherever this goes, and it sh- Oh. Oh, it can also go through buildings, so I'm assuming it's on click. Yes. Oh, that camera's amazing, too. I like that it, like, rushes back to me. Um, we need to, you know, get the strength up a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean all of it, because I want to take down this damn tower here. This is just, it's so simple, but who doesn't want a guided missile? So let's see the damage difference here. I need to go check that out. All right, and yeah, as you can see, 50 does a decent amount of damage. Let's see if we can maybe knock down the tower in one. That would be fantastic. I'm gonna do it right in the middle. Bam, and gone. <laughs> can we knock down the little building? No, we cannot. Well, we can. It's just gonna take more than one shot. Oh man, it's held on by a sliver over here. There we go. They must have changed this because I used to be able to knock this down. It doesn't look like I can knock it down now. Oh, I just noticed. My flashlight comes with the missile. That's convenient. Well, if you can't knock it down, just literally destroy all of it. There we go. Now, I saved the best weapon for last, and uh, we've already checked out an airstrike mod before, but what I like so much about this one is you can direct where you want your airstrike to go and how long it should be. So, um, the other one, you basically called it in on top of it and it spread around it. This one, you can actually have bombing runs. Uh, unfortunately, there's no plane as you can see, but it basically just drops down whatever you designate in the options here in terms of bombs per second at the direction that you wanted it to go. It is so damn cool to use. And the bombs are not over the top. I tried to get the roof. There we go. That's what I wanted. Whoa. But yeah, the bombs aren't so over the top where you lag like crazy, which is nice. What is exploding there? <laughs> Jesus. All right, just for fun, I want to see what it's like on the inside if we get bombed in a bombing run. So we're going to go right down the middle here. And here it comes. Oh, God, get out of the way. That is fantastic. Unfortunately, I'm lagging a little more than I expected. Oh, God, don't die. I died, really? All right, let's try it again. This time, I'm going to try and get out of the way before it comes this way. Oh, I just want to see it. It's so cool from the inside because all the shrapnel. Oh, I might even get damaged over here. Oh, God. Okay, a little bit of damage. But we at least survived at that time. Oh. Dude, it just opened up the whole roof. All right, we have to up the spread, distance, bomb drop, height. That doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll do a little bit of a bomb spread, too. I wonder if that means the spread of the actual explosion. Let's just up that all the way, too. Let's let's just go for a nice small run here, because this is probably going to lag me like crazy, but we'll do that. Oh. Oh, it just... Did I break it? So bomb distance, we want that to be low. I'm assuming that's the distance between each bomb. So I just didn't have en en enough of a run. There we go. I heard a lot more shots that time. <laughs> and that's more like it. So yeah, I gotta say that might be my favorite weapon yet just because I love that you can direct the direction the bombing run should go. And as you can see, you can customize it to be quite disastrous. Okay, and I had to go back to the human level. I know I do this every episode it feels like, but I got good reason this time. The creator reached out to me, and would you look at that? He was nice enough to add my derpy ass in this game. Oh my god. I think this is like a an Instagram shot I took when I was working out, and he just used it, and it looks so good. I gotta say, it feels weird seeing me in this game, but uh, I can't thank this developer enough. That is so well done. Also, why do I have a better sign? Why is my sign so fancy? I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Let's let's blow off my legs. I took a shotgun to the knee. <laughs> no, Dre, come back. All right, but we gotta see once and for all if there's anything in this brain. What is my hat made out of? Titanium? Well, I have an impenetrable forehead too, so I, I guess I can't do brain surgery on myself. Guess we're just gonna have to get a little more aggressive with it, that's all. There we go, there. See, I do have a brain, guys. I, I, I'm not lying. All right, so now I'm just performing brain surgery at this point. As you can see, I'm very careful with my uh, operations. <laughs> Look at this, this is so weird. I'm so sorry, Dre. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay, wow, that's a heavy brain, isn't it? Jesus, I can't even pick it up. Look at that. All right, we are technically in wait weightlessness, and it's falling down somehow. Let's just get out of wait weightlessness. There we go. Look it. 
I got your brain, buddy. All right, I think you guys know what we gotta do, though. Not only get myself, but get everybody in this line. <laughs> and sorry, Finfire. There goes the Canadian flank. <laughs> Oh, man, this this map seriously never gets old. All right, guys, but I think that's a good time to wrap up another episode here. So I hope you guys enjoy checking out, well, mostly vehicles and weapons today, the fun things to do in Teardown. I'm um, just looking around to see if there's anything new. Ooh, come on. There we go. And <laughs> death. Oh my god, that was a good view. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed more shenanigans and teardown. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. I hope you guys are continuing to enjoy the teardown modding. As you can probably tell, the community is going absolutely crazy in this game. And I've been enjoying checking out all of these mods. So yeah, we'll definitely be doing some more in the near future. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.